I want to take a minute to show the LabQuest to you guys. We're going to use this device to collect a lot of data. Uh, power button's up here. We're going to use that, that's on the top left, to put it to sleep. To actually power it off, you have to push and hold that for a few seconds. Uh, usually just putting it to sleep is fine. On this end is the docking end. That's the side that you'll put in the charger when you are done with it. There is a stylus in this side too. This is a resistive touch, so you can actually touch it with your finger. You can use the stylus, doesn't matter. Um, and then to get started with this, you just push the power button. And the screen will come on, but let me show you um, what that looks like. So when I turn this on, I get this screen. Uh, and everything on here is actually clickable. So I can touch the file up at the top and it gives me options. File new is something we use a lot. That's how we clear out any old data. Um, sensors, if you have to set up a sensor, this is where you go. You touch sensors and then sensor setup. Uh, over here we can change how many samples, how long the samples last. Everything that we ever need to change on experiment setup is right there under mode. Now, actually plugging a sensor in, there's a couple different ports these are the ones we use the most over on the left side. These ports are analog ports for force sensors, temperature probes, things like that. Occasionally we use digital sensors. They go up here under this flap. If you are trying to plug a sensor in on one side and it doesn't fit, chances are it's a digital sensor and it needs to plug into the other side. So let's actually show what it looks like when we plug something in. This is a temperature sensor and it should auto ID and so we do get this red bar right away it tells us the temperature in here um, if I wanted to I'm gonna say I can change the mode from time-based to events with entry selected events usually we're using time-based we're collecting data versus time and right here I can change the rate which is how many samples it takes uh, I can change the duration 180 seconds is you know a long time but if I want minutes I can say hey let's collect data for 20 minutes so any of the experiment setup is done on the iPad or on the LabQuest screen. But you can connect to this with your iPad and get some data. Okay, I'll show you that in a minute. To actually start data collection, you have to push this play button with the collect button down in the bottom left, and then it'll pop you right over into a graph screen, and then you can move back and forth between uh, looking at what the live sensor readout is or you can look at what the graph looks like. Now there's four screens, five screens along the top. If you touch the one on the top left, this is the meter screen because it shows you what the meter is reading. This is the graph screen because it shows you the graph of temperature versus time or whatever it is you're collecting. The next one is the table screen and this would actually show you the table of data as it collects it. So you just got a point. Then you have notes which we don't really need uh, and instructions. So we are usually going to be jumping back and forth between the meter screen and the lab and the graph screen. All right, so let's take a look at using your iPad to get some of this data. On your iPad, you should have an app called Graphical Analysis. If you don't have that, we can get it for you. Uh, if you launch the app, it takes you first to this screen. And since we're creating a new experiment, I'm just going to push plus, which says create an experiment. Now, it says where do you want to create this experiment from? Do you want to use built-in sensors? Do you want to use uh, whatever? We're going to use uh, data sharing because we're sharing data from our lab quest and it gives you a list of these lab quests. Now the back of your lab quest tells you which one you have. I happen to have lab quest 1205 so I select 1205 from the list and it should connect right up to that. And now it shows me that same temperature versus time graph that the lab quest was showing and I can use this to manipulate my data and see what's going on. On my lab quest I'm going to go ahead and stop data collection and you can see my graph is going to auto scale to that. If my graph hadn't auto scaled I can use this box up in the top right in order to auto scale the data and then after that it's just you can pinch to zoom you can you can manipulate this this graph to make it look like what you want. Now what we do with this data a lot of times I want to see it so you can use the little sharing arrow up here to export this to your camera roll. You don't want to just um, copy the image because then it makes a page instead you save the image and it's gonna ask you if you haven't given it permission if it can save to your camera roll and sure it can and then you can take captures of this data and put it in to your lab write-ups. 
Uh, there are a few things I want to point out over here on the left. This is where you can pick multiple runs. So on your iPad or on your LabQuest, sorry, if I come back to the LabQuest screen, this little file cabinet up in the top right, if I store that, it says, okay, save that data. And now I'm going to push collect again in the bottom left, and I'm going to collect some new data. And this time I'm going to hold on to the temperature sensor and see if we can get any changes to occur. And then we'll be able to take a look at both of these uh, data collection runs at the same time. So since I'm holding on to this temperature sensor, the temperature is slightly going up. I'm going to go ahead and stop data collection by pushing the stop button. And then I'm going to store this one as well. And now I've actually got multiple runs stored in here. So if I click on there, I can see all runs. And if I come back to my iPad, then what I have is uh, these runs showed up now over here on the left side. And so I can use those to select what do I want to see. Do I want to see run one and run two or just run one? Uh, or do I want to see nothing? So I can select those. The other thing I can do is I can change what's on each axis. Uh, if I touch over there, it lets me do that. If I touch down on the time axis, I could actually grab a temperature versus temperature, which wouldn't make a lot of sense. Okay? So you are going to use graphical analysis and the lab quest to collect data.